Hey, and I'm back. It's your boy, Anecdotal. And we have to discuss the new raid, the Swamp of Death raid. We're going to talk about what level you should be to play this raid, whether it's a good idea to start spending honor coins on the elementalists for the nature resistance, and what pet fragments are being given for completing the Swamp of Death. So, first, uh, immediately after the update, there was a bug on the Swamp of Death raid. Whenever you try to play, uh, you go over here and then you click battle, uh, there, there was a bug that freezes the screen up and you'll lose a ticket along with all of your troops. This happened to one of the heavy hitters in my guild and it was bad. It was bad. He, he has to wait like half a day to, re to regain his troops and they're all just lost now and zero damage happened. Lost all your troops, lost a ticket. It's bad. So we looked some stuff up and figured it out. Uh, we saw that if you were playing the line app version of the game, that everything actually just runs smoothly. And if you don't, what you need to do is you need to reinstall the Endless Frontier app. Now, when I reinstalled it, it was easy. There was no information or ID that I needed to type up. So it was really fast. It was a quick and easy process for me. But, and I mean this a huge but, just in case, you know, you can go to the settings uh, on the upper right corner, it's the weird looking cog that's gray. And then what you do is you save data. From there, uh, you just copy the save file code that they give you. And maybe you go and copy your ID number and you'll be good. Again, I didn't have to do this. I didn't, I didn't need any of this information. But just in case, it'll be good to have and to have your data saved. And it'll be at exactly whatever point that you click save, whatever level you're in. Whatever artifacts you have, all of that is fine. What did happen when I did reinstall, though, is that for Guild Wars, I needed to uh, to get my people back. So when I went here and I wanted to fight, all my heroes weren't there, and I needed to like reorder what I was going to do. And the same thing happened for Guild Raids. So the order of the people I had weren't there. Also, when I wanted to uh, look at my, my defense setup, it wasn't set up. So I needed to redo that. But other than that, everything else was fine. Now... Let's get into the stuff about raids. First, uh, what night level should you be to play the Swamp of Death raid? So when you go here, you notice it's the third one. And of course, it increases in difficulty as you go down. So from what I can see, uh, night level 60 plus is a good level if you plan on taking on this raid with your guild. And if you're like the only one that's level 60, then I would not try it. But if you have a good group of, uh, of guys or, you know, girls, I'm sure they play this game too. Completing this raid is going to be, uh, like, a little easier for you if there's a group of you. But if it's just, like, two or three, it's not going to happen. If anything, what you can do, though, when you play this raid, uh, you can stop at, like, Nurgal or Gorgas. If you can only beat the first raid and you only get uh, these 25 raid coins and 35 gems, it's not worth it at all don't do it if you could at least get to here at neurogol and actually get a pet fragment or you can beat gorgos and get this little b then a do it now what might be a smarter idea if anything would be just to play round two of ancient ruins so you go here and you'll play the second uh second stage and just play two rounds of it It'll, it'll be fine. You'll get you'll get way more pet fragments than you would to just to get like the two that you would uh, play in the new raid. So it'll be better for you. Now, if you are night level 60, remember, or like higher, remember that like every other raid, the second boss is an aerial boss. Here it's Harpy. She's in the air. She flies. Uh, in Burning Earth, it's the Fire Soul Salmon, whatever his name is, but he flies. And of course, for Swamp of Death, the second boss, Neural Gal, is another aerial boss. So make sure that you have your archers at the ready and your mage troops at the ready. Don't go in there with Skeleton Warriors. One of my uh, guildies did that and it just it plummets your damage because they can't do anything. They're just in the ground doing nothing. They don't like get swipes in uh, while they dive or anything like that. It's just useless. Second. Is it a good idea to start buying more elementalists 
here to beat Swamp Raid? Do you think that, oh no, I don't meet the recommendation for Nature Resist and that's why I can't win? The answer is no, not at all. You barely need any, any elementalist to meet the Nature Resistant requirement. I only have a couple. And here I am. This is the last one, Bezel Bub. You click here, Nature Resistance 700 is recommended. Oh, no, no, that's how many I have. 480 is recommended. I have 700, which means I probably have seven elementalists. And they're all, uh, they're all evolved. So each one's 100, 700. So the all attack decrease 11 and the poison damage uh, per second being 2 is nothing. It's, it's laughable. It doesn't do anything. So don't worry. Don't go out and get more elementalists just for nature resist. It's a waste of time. Now, if you find yourself getting beat during this stage, it's a matter of your knightage level. The, like I said, the difficulty of the raids increase from top to bottom. So Ancient Ruins... If you just started playing, this is where you want to be. Are you kind of in the mid game? Burning Earth is where you want to be. Are you a little bit better? Are you level 60 plus? Then go ahead, guys. Try Swamp of Death. Now, remember, this is if your entire guild is mostly 60 plus. Uh, let's say if you got a good 10, 10 uh, guild members that want to play and they're good, they're 60 plus, they have their guys, they're ready, they know how to, how to set up a team, then go for it. If not, then... You got to work your way up, do some Ancient Ruins, get some of these pet frags that, that will help you out in other raids as well. Now, uh, if, yeah, if your guide can't complete it, just, and if you are high level and you just, you know, you don't feel that much loyalty, jump onto another guild that can do the raids that you want or stick with them as long as there are people in the guild that are trying to get better, you'll get there eventually. And it's a lot more fun uh, to play a game where everyone gets better while you play and everyone will get more. It's way more satisfying than just joining some OP group that does all the work for you. All right. So, uh, last thing. Uh, I actually took a clip of this and I saved it when it first came out. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to jump onto that raid that I'm going to flip. Let me know if you want the raid to be uh, flipped sideways where you kind of have to tilt your head to watch it or if you want it tilted where everything is fine you don't need to move your head but the amount of space that you see is going to be kind of weird it's going to be kind of cut off okay so we're going to go ahead and just cut to that now okay so guys we're back i'm going to go ahead and try to do this raid for the very first time the swamp raid let's go got my team set up let's see what happens all right, let me go ahead and rotate this, and let's go. Let's see what this tree has to offer. Wood, right? Am I right? Uh, uh, okay, so what is it? What's up with these dragons? Do I tap these dragons? No? Okay. So we got a uh, green and red dragon with us, not doing anything. Okay, it gives us skills. Cool, cool. It'd be cool if they threw, like, fireballs or something, but no, they're just there. They're basically pets that are standing there just watching us do stuff. Come on, Ikor. Make, make it look cooler. I'd appreciate that. All right, so Red Dragon. Uh, increases attack power of melee units and cast skill while recovers HP. Whoa, it gives us HP? That's awesome. Okay, and for ground troops, pretty much. So increases ground troops. Let's do it. All right, so this probably really helps out the Skeleton Warrior, which is, you know, the guy that does all the damage in raids, Skeleton Warrior. If you did not know... You know, T3 Dark Admiral. Now, stat. So you can do damage. If you want to do better at raids, you do it now. So right now, uh, they're the ones doing all the work. Green Dragon. Increases attack power of ranged units and cast skill while recovers HP too. Great. So they're all mini little priests here recovering HP. It'd be cool if we had a percentage of HP, but whatever. Okay, cool. Uh, seems like the best way to do it is you switch between dragons for the best boost because it lowers everyone's cooldown. So... You do the red dragon, and then you switch to the green dragon. That's what it means to alternate. So you just switch between them both. Huh. Now, that that's only going to be true for this, for these kind of raids. Anywhere else, you're probably just going to use the, the green dragon because he helps archers out. Uh, if they're like aerial bosses, there's no reason to buff up melee troops because 
you shouldn't have any melee troops because they can't hit air uh, raid bosses. All right, let's look at this. Not bad. Not not bad at all for my first time fighting this guy. Cool. What is this for? Nice. All right, let's see what we got out of how much. Oh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, okay. So, guys, I mean, if you like this raid, give me a thumbs up. Know what, what you're doing. And if you did less and you want to know why, hit me up in the comments and I'll tell you why. Let's see how this goes, huh? Oh, come on, come on. Okay, let's see how it is. I see. Okay, so that was that was my first attempt going ahead and playing the swamp raid. Last thing we gotta do is we gotta talk about the pet fragments that you can get from this raid and if it matters to you at this point of the game. Similarly to the fire resist, nature resist doesn't come into play until you reach the 10k uh, stage mark, as it, as it says here. So if you didn't reach the 10k stage mark, there's really no reason to have nature resist other than the last raid. And even then, you don't really need much. So if you're not close to stage 10,000, this raid does not really matter. But let's look at these pets. All right, let's go down. And we have the B, Nuru. It increases artifact limit break. And artifact limit break skill is not multiplied by 2, even though the pet is set as the main pet. Got it. So when you set pets up as your main pet, you know, they double. That's why when you have Mambo, you put it at as your main pet. It gives you twice as much gold. So if it's like 8,000 gold buff, it'll be 16,000. It's what everyone should do when you first start playing the game is to set Mambo, Piggy, or Snork up as your main. If you have Snork and he's higher, then obviously him because he gives a slightly higher gold buff. So for Nuru, if you put him up, it's not going to double up the effect because that would just be way too broken. What does it mean by increased artifact limit break? That means that there's a cap to the amount of health that artifacts can give you. It's limited. So it breaks that limit. So for like, uh, what is it up here? Down here. Okay, so for, let's say, Inner Passion. Inner Passion, the max is really what you can get. I think it's about 100. If you break the limit, you get up to 300, which is you get everybody's pet. Spirit Awakening, see the max says 200, and I'm at 100, but I have all of them. The reason why is because I didn't get the pets and I didn't break it. So I didn't break the limit of Spirit Awakening. So the same thing is going to happen with artifacts. Now, if you're at the stage of the game where you have all the artifacts at T2, then cool, do it. But if not, it's not worth it. Don't worry about it. If you don't even have Trans 1 or Trans 2 artifacts, this is not something that you really need to worry about. All right, so you saw... If you like the battles, if you like the info that I'm giving you, like the video, subscribe, because it really helps me to know if you want to see more of this type of content or not. And let's see if I can get a Valkyrie. No, I didn't. Okay, cries everywhere. Please like for my suffering. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.